Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious Louisiana seasoned fried chicken sandwiches. Now, this recipe was inspired by the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich. It consists of a juicy and well-seasoned chicken breast that has been marinated. From there, it is coated with a seasoned buttermilk, egg, and all-purpose flour batter. And from there, it is fried into a nice golden brown. Afterwards, it is sandwiched between two homemade hamburger buns and of course they are dressed with lots of mayonnaise and pickles just as the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich does. This recipe makes two sandwiches but you can take the sandwiches and you can cut them in half or you can take the chicken breasts before or after you fry them and you can cut those in half. And from there, you can make up to four sandwiches. Juicy, well-seasoned, and absolutely delicious. So it off, Diddy. Let's get started. All right, here's all you need to make a Louisiana classic buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need a half to one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And along with that, you will need some all-purpose flour, salted butter, large eggs, buttermilk, and you will also need some hamburger buns. Now, I made mine from scratch, of course. I made mine from scratch, but can also use these store-made ones as well. I'll have the recipe for these homemade hamburger buns in the description box. And along with that, you will need some vegetable or canola oil, mayonnaise, of course, blue plates and some from New Orleans. <laughs> and you'll also need some pickle slices. And for your seasonings, you'll need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole Seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use these Zatarain's Creole Seasoning. Other stuff from Mama Cajun Seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Perdon's Portrait Magic, onion powder, garlic powder, and this next ingredient is optional, cayenne pepper. And for your tools, um, I'm going to be using a medium-sized pot with a thermometer, but you can also use a deep fryer. This is a, a four-quart pot, of course. And you will also need a cooling rack. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So I've added my chicken breast into this strainer and I'm going to rinse the chicken breast off with cold water. Now I like to do this stuff to rinse off any blood or particles that might be on the chicken. Okay, next we're gonna cut this um, according to how large our hamburger bunny is. So I kind of marked the indentation right here. And I'm just gonna take my knife and just kind of trim this off a little bit. Now, as far as the thickness goes, it should be, we're going to just trim it down just a little bit, just to make it even. And any fat or anything like that, we'll just trim that off. All right, I've transferred my chicken breast fillets into this medium-sized bowl. Now, we're going to add some seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle about a half to one teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole Seasoning. One teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Portrait Magic, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder. I meant to say granulated, y'all. I keep calling it onion and garlic powder, but it's granulated. And this is optional cayenne pepper. I'm going to add about one fourth teaspoon of that in there. I'm going to take my hands and just coat the seasonings onto the chicken breast. Okay, I'm going to cover this. Let this marinate in your refrigerator for about two to four hours or overnight. All right, let's get started with our seasoned egg and buttermilk batter. So uh, first things first, you want to be careful with the seasonings because buttermilk already has a little bit of sodium in it. So you want to pay attention to that. So first things first, we're going to add two large eggs at room temperature, a half a cup of buttermilk at room temperature, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Portrait Magic, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and about one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together until combined. There we go. Okay, let's get started with our seasoned all-purpose flour batter. So in this large Tupperware, make sure you have a lid to put on top as well. 
I'm going to add one and three fourth cups of all purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudom's Portrait Magic, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and this is optional, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna take my spoon and just stir all the ingredients together. Now you can adjust the seasonings as needed for the recipe. Now as you can see here, when I take the spoon and I um, smooth out the flour, as you can see, you can see the little specks of seasoning that lets you know that you added enough in there. Now if there's no specks of seasoning in there, you might want to add a little bit more. Okay, here we have our hamburger bun here. I'm just gonna turn it sideways and I have a serrated knife here. And I'm just gonna look at the distance here, about a half an inch. And from there, I'm just gonna cut through the hamburger bun. And there we have it. We have our top and bottom portion to our hamburger bun. All right, here I have one tablespoon of melted salted butter and a pastry brush. I'm just going to take the butter and I'm just going to brush it on top of the hamburger buns. Preach your fire to medium heat. Okay, let's get started with toasting our hamburger buns. So here we have our cast iron skillet seasoned and ready to go. I'm going to let this get hot for about two minutes. Okay, I'm just going to add the hamburger buns on top. I'm just going to start with the top portion of the hamburger buns kind of press that down into the skillet i'm going to let this toast for about one minute all right it's been about one minute now there's one side there's the other side and here is the other side nice and toasted turn your fire off preheat your fire to medium heat if you have a deep fryer, preheat it to 375 degrees. Okay, let's get started with heating our oil. So I've added 48 fluid ounces of canola oil. You can also use vegetable oil into this uh, medium sized pot. Now, if you're using a deep fryer, you want to add the oil, the amount of oil, according to the instructions on how much oil to add. I'm going to let the oil get hot until the oil reaches a temperature of 350 to 375 degrees. All right, we have our chicken breast marinated and ready to go, along with our seasoned buttermilk mixture and our seasoned all-purpose flour mixture. Now let's go ahead and fry our chicken breast. Make sure you have a cooling rack with a pan underneath it ready before you fry your chicken breast. Okay, now we're going to take our chicken breast and we're just going to Add that into this buttermilk mixture. We're going to carefully coat the chicken breast with the buttermilk. And from there, we're going to take the chicken breast piece and we're going to add it into our seasoned all purpose flour batter. I'm going to cover this. And I'm just going to shake the tub aware to coat the chicken breast with the seasoned all purpose flour batter. All right, that looks good. And from there, we're going to take it and add them into the hot oil. Now frying times vary depending on the size and thickness of the chicken breast. So you want to keep that in mind. Let this fry for eight minutes. All right, it's been about eight minutes now. Here I have a mesh straining spoon. I'm just going to pick the chicken breast up. You can see that's a nice, beautiful golden brown too. Just wait a couple of seconds to let some of the oil drain. And from there, I'm going to transfer it onto a cooling rack with a pan underneath it. And once done, the chicken breast should have an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That means they are done. Let this cool for about 15 to 30 minutes. All right, let's assemble our sandwich. So here we have our top and bottom portion of our hamburger bun. I'm gonna just take some mayonnaise and I'm just gonna spread that onto both hamburger buns. And from there, I'm just going to add my sliced pickles. Followed by the chicken breast. Just place that right on top, just like that. Now that is pretty big. So if you want to take it and cut it in half, you can do that. 
and you can make it more thin so that way you can actually make an additional sandwich if you like and from there we're going to take our second part of our hamburger bun the top portion and we're just going to add that right on top and after that it is ready to be served and i want to show y'all the how the inside of the chicken breast looks as you can see that is done all right and there you have it ladies and gentlemen louisiana seasoned fried chicken sandwiches made by a new orleans native if you like my channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious homemade Louisiana seasoned fried chicken sandwiches. You can go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's taste test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah, now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Well, a big bite that is. This is huge. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Time to dig in. Mmm. Oh, yes. Y'all, I don't know how Popeye's chicken sandwich tastes, but this is delicious. I mean, it's well seasoned. The chicken breast is juicy and tender. And you got the, the combination from the, the mayonnaise and the pickles. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting it to taste this. this oh, my goodness. Woo. <laughs> really, it is absolutely delicious well seasoned delicious that's all i could really say now does it taste like popeye's fried chicken sandwich i don't know because i never had popeye's fried chicken sandwich. but anyways it's a great recipe so give it a try anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time have a good one peace oh it's so good i gotta take me another bite oh my goodness mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm.